Chef Pennington here. Today we're doing zucchini lasagna. Really easy, super healthy, fun, and stuff your kids might actually eat. So <laughs> there's the zucchini versus the cucumber. They can get confusing sometimes. It's the tip there at the end that'll let you know that it's a zucchini. Lots of cool stuff you can do with the zucchini. I've got a zucchini taco shell uh, recipe on the website too. I'll have the link below for that. Totally cool. Check it out. Everybody I've ever made it for loved it. So be sure to check that out. It's another way to get your kids to eat vegetables. So what we've got here is we've got a mandolin and we're taking really thin slices. Um, there's another way to do this if you don't have a mandolin and I'm going to show you that in just a moment here. But you're going to want to get enough strips. You're going to take two pieces per individual zucchini wrap that we're making. So we got that part done. Here's plan B. You can use a vegetable peeler. Whenever you're buying your zucchinis, just look for ones that aren't super huge so that it's not going to be too thick so that you can actually fit your, your peeler through there. Let's make our filling super easy. We're going to go with ricotta. Really traditional when we're talking about lasagna. So we're going to use one cup there. And we're going to use one cup of cheese. You can use Parmesan. You can use mozzarella. You know Anything you guys like. So we're going to get that guy in the bowl there. And on the website, there's going to be the entire recipe, all the instructions. There'll be a link below for you guys, too. We're going to use some parsley and some dill just to bring extra flavor to the table. And it's always good to use fresh herbs when you can. It just always makes that dish feel homemade. It's just something that would never not happen in a restaurant. If you ever watch those TV shows like on Food Network, Anytime they can't have fresh herbs or, or produce like that, they always complain because it's what makes the dish. It's kind of like really what finishes it and makes it great. So lemon juice, it's just going to brighten everything up. We're going to use one teaspoon here. You guys could use a little more if you want, but I wouldn't use much more. Two, two teaspoons at the max. All right, moving along. Garlic. Got to love garlic. Another thing that's super healthy for us. We're going to get two teaspoons in there. You could go a whole tablespoon if you really like garlic. But I think the recipe as it is was perfect. I'm telling you. Um, I've experimented with this a time or two. And what's going to be on the website is incredible. You guys can print out that recipe card too. A little salt and pea there. We're going to use one egg. This is a binding agent. This is what's going to help hold everything together. Okay, we've got that done. Now let's build these guys. What a cool way to do lasagna. I've really got to say I'm, I'm a fan of this. So that's two cups of your favorite tomato sauce. I used the marinara here. I've got a recipe on the website for making your own homemade. I'll have that in the link below also. So just spread that out nice thin layer. One, one regular jar um, is what those two cups turned out to be 24 ounces. Now let's see. That's more than two cups. So yeah, 24 ounces. You can fill these as much as you possibly like. This is not one of those cases where overfilling is a bad thing. It's just a matter of you being able to wrap it together. So whatever works. Your zucchini might be huge. You never know. So you want to start with the less, the non-curved end. It just helps for presentation and all that good stuff. And then you're going to put it on top of itself. So the way to hold it in position. You guys could put more than six in there if you wanted to. A little bit of cheese, just going to make it really nice when it comes out of the oven. It's about 15 to 20 minutes. Every oven cooks a little bit differently. So let's see how it turned out. Yum. <laughs> you don't have to use basil. You could use some of the parsley since you already bought some for the recipe. But basil does, after, it does offer just another dimension of flavor. And I, I personally really liked it. And that's just a chiffonade of basil. Just rolled up basil and sliced through really thinly. And there you guys go. You guys have now got zucchini lasagna. Hope you guys enjoy this. Come join us on social media. We'd love to have you guys there. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Recipe link on the website. You guys know about that. It's always there. And you guys have the best. Take care.